a club of both went on all day, so there's a lot of things to mention, as I'm going to forget, so please remind me. Uh, it starts off with a catch up with the Munich guys, they shared a few uh, things which was interesting. Then we had an update on the status of Wayland, not just what was talked about in the presentation at QCon, but some of the internals and the things we need to fix. We had an update on Python Mobile, again, more internal stuff, exciting things. <laughs> we had a cleanup of one of the oldest, most rubbish files in Python Workspace, Start KDE, looking through Agile code as a group and seeing what parts were still relevant and what parts were from 2005 and still mental. <laughs> Outdated. Edit that. Um, <laughs> what well, oh, we had? Help me. Uh, what oh, we had. Yes, we. discussion about a 5.8 release cycle. You might know it's going to be a long-term support release, which means we're going over 18 months, but which we knew, but coming up with a <coughs> more specific plan of how we're going to handle that within Plasma. And then we came up with a discussion of what things we really want to highlight in the release, because it's going to be our first LTS, and we want to make the marketing really match, so we discussed that as well. Okay, that's it for me. Alright, uh, the next one is Kiri Uh, in the near future, the um, uh, Tarn 
the uh, translation for KDE applications in the Tarbo, like uh, it's happening for Plasma and frameworks. Um, we hopefully uh, we will change something in the there are other internal changes like in the naming of the files. Um, maybe we will change also we know, there is a proposal to change the, the software which powers the website for the translators. Um, and a few other things like that. Uh, there is one thing that I'm using the time now because the, there is a lot of time spent by the translation infrastructure to extract messages from applications which are dead. If you go even on SBN, uh, there are still uh, traces of applications from Playground and even in extra gear for from Plasma, for Theme and all the other modules which are basically dead. So if you want to help cleaning up the old application from ESPN, moving them to unmaintain it, that will save time also to translate also. Uh, that said, uh, nothing more. There are some notes on the uh, which were sent to the translated list, and we will continue the discussion there. Thank you.
So we need to make sure that all of the information is there, that the software we're releasing uh, has the, the information in it. We've been talking about how to make sure uh, that the software that we're releasing has the actual information, which is something that we've been working on on the last uh, weeks as well. We've been talking about how to make sure that plugins are probably exposed on, on to this onto this uh, system because it's actually not trivial. But well, as a conclusion for all of you, you should know that if you have more, you're responsible for any kind of application. You should be writing all of this meta meta metadata. Uh, you're not doing that because you don't know how to. You should come to talk to me or Matthias or well anyone else because everybody knows how it works. But it's super important. Right? <laughs> um, um, if it's not happening yet, uh, soon you will start to see that the CI won't uh, build for you if you don't have the information and uh, this kind of thing because it's very important. Um, other than that, we looked into some new developments that are happening upstream that we hope that will have an impact as sooner as possible. stories for our users and donors and about what make, make people interested in doing that donations. We basically decided about doing again an end of a year campaign by using those postcards as gifts and also make the plans for Rwanda next year's next year.
So upgrade your wardrobe. <laughs> Seriously. Update, upgrade, whatever. <laughs> Building. We will figure it out in a minute. <laughs> All right.